Hello, I've always wanted to make my own paper. Um, I did it the other day, it turned out rubbish, but it took ages to film, so let's do it together. So I bought this kit online. It comes with a tray, a sieve that goes in the tray. It also comes with one sheet of plastic and um, this little bit of mesh, which I can't remember what I used for, but I'm sure we'll find out. Annoyingly, you do actually need paper to make paper, but I'm using my scrap paper to recycle it, um, so that's why we're here. And you'll need a bowl. The first thing that we need to do is rip our paper into tiny chunks of paper. This does take ages. Just knuckle down and get it done. Um, we now need to turn our paper into mulch, bread and hot water. You're meant to leave it for an hour. Don't add it to the beaker. I don't know who would do that. I've just done this to show you what I'm not doing. Unfortunately, I'm really, really, really impatient, so I did it straight away, and it turned out a little bit dry, but if you wait for longer, you'll get a nicer, consistent mulch. Now what we need to do is add the mulch to the tray. I've gone for the spoon method, which I don't recommend. Um, it's only a bit of mulch, just use your hands. As you can see, that's where the mesh comes involved. At this point, we're just covering the um, tray with the mulch. <laughs> have I said the word mulch too much? I have, haven't I? Pat down the organic matter until you've got, um, oh, the spoon's back, this girl doesn't learn, until it's of three millimetres thickness and consistent. Get one of your boyfriend's t-shirts, don't tell him, blot out some of the liquid. Then we add the plastic and we are ready for extraction. Make sure it's on nice and tight, turn it over, pat it out, get the spoon if you want. And what have we got? A thick slab of mulch. <laughs> Uh, you can repeat this. Oh, I do like the texture actually, it does look quite nice. And um, you can repeat this as many times as you want, obviously. Now we just wait two to three to four days for it to dry, and then we are left with this. Um, I mean, it's all right. If you want it to look better than this, which uh, is impossible, but you can give it a go, I would leave the mulch to rest before you put it in the tray so it's a bit more liquidy. And um, now it's just time to decorate it. I'll leave that one with you. I went for a lino print stamp because uh, I thought it kind of just fitted the raw vibe. And there we have it. That's how you make paper. I'll definitely do this again, but next time I will not be so impatient. And um, thank you for watching.